Hello and welcome to another episode of the Race to Go Racing. So this is the body we've seen from last time. It saves us a lot of time. So this one, you will see again, got all the new bits and panels to, to build that one, but this is gonna fit our time frame better. A little bit annoying because we wanted to finish that one, but you will see that later on next year. This one, however, has got all new floors, just needs this repair in and that repair. Hasn't got our rust problem here and here. It's just had new wings, so that solves that issue. Uh, it's also had this bit repaired and the A pillars on this one look miles better. We've got a little hole there and a little hole there. So, oh, let's not forget about the battery tray and that piece there. So, this has got a full brand new Spitfire chassis underneath as well. And lots of the panels that we we're gonna need, we don't need anymore because they're on here already in place. So it reduces our time by probably four, four weeks, we say Steve? Four or five. Four or five weeks. So obviously under the time restraint we're in, this is where we're gonna have to go with it now. We're hopefully getting it painted in February. That's all teed up. And then after that, we're gonna get a cage put into it. That's where we're at. Me and Steve now are gonna weld in two more of these braces. We'll put it on a time lapse. You'll see us doing it quick. We'll take the body off and we'll show you what we're gonna repair today. Hopefully some big chunks and then get it into a spot that we're pretty happy with. And then from there, We'll have a race car ready for paint. Right then, so we've got the new body on its side, as you can see. We have the new body on its side. We're looking at it now. So this is the problem we've got with this one. So we're gonna, this this isn't very good here. So the plan is, we're gonna make this, manufacture this bit here, and we're gonna re-put in from our other one. That's like a mixture of Spitfire, it's got like six Spitfires in it. So this panel, we're gonna cut here, Make a nice little cut here and cut there so we can get this bracket redone off of this one. So that can go onto there. That will also give us more metal here to be able to create something to weld to, to weld these in. Because obviously these all need uh, welding together because they've been put on but they haven't been finished. Here's going to be a bit of work so we're going to have to cut the floors out of our one and put them into place uh, and then pull all this together. But it's had all new sills on it uh, and then here we're going to cut this out and, and fix that as well. We're going to crack on um, and see how far we get, but this is the body we're going to use for racing, and this is going to become something else. Uh, Long-term project. So, yeah. Ready, Steve? Right, let's start cutting stuff up again. So, after a few hours, this is what we've got. So, we've cut this old one out, welded one off our boot, which is here. Parts have arrived. Boot valence. Two arches to repair the rusty ones on here. These two sit where the sills are. We've got front and rear. Could have made something up for this, but we just don't have the time. And this piece here fits here. Like that. Let's crack on. As you can see, we had to actually cut uh, this down because it didn't fit straight away. We thought it was going to fit out of packet, but it didn't. So we've just cut this to fit into the arch. We're going to tack it now 
into these spots here, here, and here. And we're going to run some long ground here to hold it into spot, into place. We're going to pull this in, this does pull in. We're just going to get this bit in first, and then we're going to pull all this in, and then we're going to spot weld the wing to the arch. We're actually going to use this one that's already been prefabbed in here, trim this all down and then beat it in, weld down here and weld across there because this, although it looks rusty, is already in really good shape. So if we can clean this up, it'll save us a bit of time. Once we've got this sorted, we we'll plan for this. Then we've got a new rear valence to put in and then the rear's done. So hopefully, by the end of today, the rear will be finished. So Steve's cut all this now down. And when you press it in, it sits flush. So it doesn't look great at the moment, but hopefully when we've sorted it all out, uh, we'll do one piece at a time and it should look good. I've labeled this up here to be able to put that piece out. And then we're gonna use this piece. That's all labeled up. And we'll take this whole bit out and all into there and that solves that. What's the plan? On this, we'll center these this top corner up here because it's uh, quite thin here and it flexes a bit, so it looks like it's sort of out of line. But if we put that in and then just put some pressure against this bit here just to pull that straight in line, yeah, and then we'll just keep on manipulating it. Gosh, easy. So, it's so right here we've ground all these welds down. So that's got some weld through primer on it, so it won't rust. Uh, and we'll paint now when it comes out of the shot blasters. Here, we've welded in this bracket here. And now, we're gonna do that rear valence. So that's done, that's done, that's done. Rear valence done. And then we can start tackling the floors. So, we've just been trying to fit this for the last 15 minutes to put this on the outside. We couldn't do it. But then Steve had a eureka moment and this actually sits on the inside. And as soon as we did that, the whole thing just fits. So obviously down here, it doesn't fit yet. We've got to trim all this down. Once we trim all that down, clean that up, we should be able to pet, uh, clamp it all in place and spot weld it all around. We'll clean this here, clean that side and then we should have a rear valence that's not rusty. All right then, so we've clamped up here and here. So this is all in position as best we can get it. We've got a couple of issues. Uh, here, we're gonna have to bead weld there and the Dremel's knackered, so we won't be able to grind that down straight away. We're gonna weld across here. I think in an ideal scenario, the wings wouldn't be on and then we could get in here and weld in, but we're gonna have to weld on the outside and grind it back, which is a bit annoying because we could, compromise this a little bit, but 
hopefully we'll be all right once we've ground it, uh, grind it down with nice and neat. Pack here, just need to prep it with, and the same on the other side as well. And then it means we can remove a couple of these clamps just so I can get the torch in a bit better. Bottom, as you can see, we've primed that at the moment. So that's not in position, but if we weld this up, we've still got enough flex to be able to fit it. Uh, and that's been sanded down the inside because it's difficult to get to. Took all a layer of rust off and then primed it. Just because when it's welded together and you've got two, if you've got rust in there, it'll rust from the inside out. Hindsight's a beautiful thing. When we got carried away a little bit, didn't realize that this was so bad. So we've cut one off of our other boot here. We're just gonna take it out now, put this in here instead, and then weld it up. This is where we're at here. We use this bit of old metal. There's some holes in there, so we're gonna have to try and save that. It was a bit thin when we were welding up. So then we decided to cut this out. So I welded this seam in now. So this runs all the way down here. So that'll be that done. Uh, and then the valence is in. But we've run out of gas. So the garage mesh is gonna tie you up. Call it there for the day. Um, pretty successful. Very, very successful day. So the rear should be boxed off, pretty much done. So these little nif naff and trivia bits just need tidying up, that just needs tacking in. Valence is done out of the way. Wings just need spot weld numb, just one ridge, and then that's done. And then we can tackle the floor. So out of the old shell, we're gonna cut this section out here, because this floor is going, because we've got a new floor for this one outside. We've got these bits to do, these just need spot welding on. Uh, this floor, obviously, we'll, we'll use in that one, so we weld that in. This bit here will be done, and then we've just got to finish these two bits. And this is uh, the uh, self tap screwed in at the moment, so that needs welding in. Then we'll send this shell off to the shop blasters. Once it's gone to the shop blasters, we'll paint the, the whole floor black, and then while it's at the shop blasters, we'll be making the chassis up. So we'll make all the chassis up and that'll all be done. I've probably got welding hair right now, so forgive it. Uh, and then once all the body is gone, once all that's done, it's at the shop blasters, it'll come back here, we'll paint the bottom, bolt the body to the chassis. And then from there, we'll start the sanding and paint prep. And then it'll go to painters. They'll put their, their color on it, which we'll show you. It'll come back to us. And then we can start the proper build, like the wiring, which is another big part of the build, which we haven't uh, really spoke about yet, but we've got a semi-plan for that. So remember from the first few videos, the wiring was horrendous. So, um, so yeah, you'll see that. And that's it. So until the next day we start this, maybe tomorrow or the day after, um, have a good one. Ta-ra.